Give me a second to set my shit up. I'm ready for my close up. Are we in there? We're in there. Hell yeah. Oh, let's do this, man. Is it still Tuesday? It's still Tuesday. Is it moist out the window? I do believe it is. Ooh. I do believe. Let's do this. Let's post that. I think that's everything. All right, we um we played this game and uh we got through a chapter of it and I we we've, we've already decided that the Wolf Among Us is not about Teen Wolf. It's not about basketball, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, also, way more people lost their head than I thought was going to in one chapter of the game. So, the goal for tonight is uh, no one gets decapitated. No one. We're doing it. I think we're going to interrogate some fat guy. I think that's how it starts. I think that's how it starts. I remember tackling the fat guy again. I think it was Tweedledum. Let's go. Episode two. Yo, and look at this floozy. We got a floozy. We got a pimp covered in tattoos. Is that the Joker from uh, Suicide Squad? <laughs> this guy back here. Does it say disturbed or deranged on his forehead? What does it say up there? It says kiss the girl on his chest. And kiss the girl with your chest. All right. Cool. What am I getting? Shout out to people who still send uh, Tumblr spam. Good job. Mr. Toad. Oh, we get the recap. Last time on Wolfamonga Thor. Motherfucker got slapped in the face. Then I whooped that ass. Yeah, I beat that guy's ass. Kinda. I guess we both fell out the window. I guess at the end of the day, we kind of both got our ass beat by gravity. And I lied to a beast man, which was probably uh, a bad idea that's going to haunt me later. Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Snow White wanted to show me some shit. It was Severed Head number one. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Ichabod Crane is a bitch. You want to play for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow? Um, two twins double team me and beat me unfairly. This doesn't count as one of my losses. Right now, told lied to me and I shook him down for some information. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, it's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels. on Found this jerk sliding around at the dirty bar. Then the Grendel shows up. Bad. Starting a whole bunch of bull mess. Bad. Like I'm not the big bad right. wolf. I got a hundred bucks. And I beat his ass and ripped his arm off his arm. About a girl and then I tackled the fat guy. Everybody's caught up now. We're all caught up. Yeah, I had the, I had the wolf out on him. Yeah. I mean, you lost something. Well, that's not true. And then I was playing some sweet ass game down on Snow White. Um and that sweet ass game was laid down in vain because Snow White's head is severed head number fucking two. Jesus Christ. If you're watching this right now, watch the stream like this. Protect your neck. Just cover up. Alright. Not losing anybody else tonight, man. 
put your back against the wall. Don't let anybody sneak up behind you while you're watching the stream. No one ever cuts anybody's head off from the from, from the front. It's always from the back, right? Left you're in Mortal Kombat. But no one here's in Mortal Kombat. Watch your back. No one's sitting behind you. Yeah. None of it. I don't. Yeah, that's except here. Snow White. I don't like it. I get the smash. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm pissed off. Feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. Be talking to them. This is be real tonight. Did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us. So why don't you cut the shit and? What you? What she think I know? <laughs> I showed up and saw the head. Like. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. This must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? If she answers yes, then no. Didn't okay. think so. <laughs> we got something to come. Yeah, you do. Yeah. For sure. Your nose is blue. Yeah. Did you hear about Piccolo being the Dragon Ball Fighters? Because I know it's late when I heard about it too. I was hyped. I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? What? That's a. Just get force choked out or was that me like it, we all we all saw everybody got for, force choked right we have to go now what the fuck is going on you should be thanking me it's just a memory wipe spell very expensive but it works the whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands well hurry up Nah, man, I'm gonna puff my new port. I ain't got. I'm not rushing nowhere. Okay, so that was mad. That's magic. That's how magic works. Bleed out the nose. That's not a. Yeah, I can picture my head with my girlfriend's head. You don't get to keep that. How you living, Anna? What's the busyness? Of course, you got a dark ass car. Think about crane, you suck. <laughs> you suck 100%. <clears throat> Do uh, I don't like this guy. Thanks for the ride, whatever. Thanks for the left. Certainly. We, um, trying here. found Tweedledee chained up to a post. It was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap and Snow was left. Punch me in the So he couldn't neck. possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently in 
interrogating him. And he hasn't said anything useful. And the big B, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man. And people are already worried about your conduct. He's working for somebody. Whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I suspect Crane, but I don't want to give it away. You feel me? Like, I think this man is... Like, I want to hate him, but he's obviously, like, red herring material. Like, they want you to hate this guy, and he ends up being, like, on the up and up. I but know fuck that. He's a of our Crane. I want to hate him. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her, too. used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Yeah, fuck New York. I'm joking. I'm joking. If you're watching from New York, your city isn't she, that bad. Uh, give any indication to what she was thinking when you saw her last at me? I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as sometimes but she wasn't really she said that she wanted to change things make it Does easier sound for good, Anna? to get help on they need can you hear I don't know what else to say Bigby. we have to have to put an end to this we are gonna put it into I'm gonna turn it to a wolf and I'm gonna maraud will likely be another on our doorstep tonight I'll get it done Please, Big B, for Miss White. I got it. I'm mad. Your car is trash anyway. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry, I guess. I'm sorry, I guess. Trophies. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using Who's this swap I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Kabad. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just... Oh, that's Bluebeard. Wow. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Kabad. Hello, Big B. I want yeah. answers. Punch you in the face. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I've settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been Give me your points, George, please. What are you going to do about this, Big B? You think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill him. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. First Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first course, make sure everything's up to code and whatnot. I'm not fucking around here. I'm gonna give you one chance before I hit you in the face. I'm ready, ready to hit you in the face. Let's get to know each other. <laughs> look at this picture of this severed head for inspiration. Yes, I'm giving you a chance, you man. Before I start clobbering, I'm, I'm just trying to be the right guy right now. I don't know. All right. 
Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Yeah, answer Look, the question, me. Playboy. We're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't exactly. Say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. Twins always he know what twins are at. Fun fact. Then where is he? No. I'm not I'm sending not you after my brother. brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find out? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Oh, bunch of cash. That's consequences. I know you enjoy my company, <laughs> but I'd like to be off. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Keep it all that declaring attacks on uncooperative troublemakers. You take it out of the You might not like the interest on that. You'll need to account for that. You can't just there are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. So where's your brother? Look, mate. Taking that cash, like playboy. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. Mm. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith. Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. There was more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Yeah, what you looking for? Right. And you and you gulping and shit. What did you want from Faith? I'm about to start Sorry, swinging. I can't help you. I'm trying I'm to say be a great interrogator here. <laughs> it's moving along at an iron pace. It'll take as long as it takes, Bluebeard. Give me this. I'm saving that. I'm gonna burn your hand with this if you don't start talking. This is really... What's the point of this? Here. Yeah. yeah, all right. Want to see a trick? Okay, now I'm burning you. Now I'm burning you. You better not give me the option to burn this guy, because I'll burn you. Ah! Man, I want to burn you. This is a burn of first. find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Come on, Dean. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, you know what she did for a living, right? What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your boss. Let's talk about your boss. Yes, is your boss a pimp? It's IT, just say it. Say it. I can't answer any more of your questions. Nah. Come on. You mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers. Ah. Real cute. Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby! Beauty was wrong about you! You're just a sick beauty! You're full of shit! Oh, we're good friends! That's enough! I will not tolerate this savagery! You think I am someone savage. was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? It's your violent behavior and inability to control your nature that caused this mess! If it weren't for you, Snow might still be alive. Fuck you! Don't put this on me! Yeah, it ain't about me, man. What's going on down here? What the fuck? I'm not the smartest guy in the world. But I'm pretty sure I'm interrogating a guy about Snow White's death. And Snow White just interrupted said in interrogation.
Big old town as fuck. I don't like this place. I don't like this place at all. Nah, we're not gonna cut to another scene after that. Nah, that's explained immediately. <laughs> Why? Thank you. What? What the fuck? What the hell was going on down there, Big B? Abusing a prisoner like that. I I'm, thought you were dead. I'm not even gonna even pretend like that's not one of the options. Okay? It was worth your time. What? Okay, you're, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. Yeah. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found the body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully, we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of you. Snow? What is it? Uh... I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Hmm. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was clamoring to look like me. Hmm. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Uh... We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. We are the I'm law. to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Stop not talking about that. what I meant. Come on now. Well, what did you mean? I told you, uh, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm do you have ice powers? We need somebody with ice powers. Do you have ice powers? I just powers? want you to be careful. I almost I lost you once. I'm not yours to lose. She right? I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. I'm cool, man. I can handle the kid. I'm cool. Okay. I'm cool, man. Kids love me. When I'm not eating them, because I'm a wolf, we eat kids. Trophy. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, my snow. Uh. What that do? What that is? These can't solve murders. Uh, what's this? I want to touch everything. Touching stuff's what I do. Oh, I still got that water cash over there. Hell yeah, boy. She stakes on me. And assets. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Maybe he has an and acid addiction. Because he's fucking weird. Snow's perfume. Go talk to this young buck over here.
Yeah, no. No. Stop letting that mirror lie to you. Oh, that's enough. Mirror, vanish, cancel! What the hell are you doing? Big man. What's going on? I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. I, like, I jacked him up a little bit. I grabbed him by his lapels. Teacher. I didn't hit him. I know you're scared, but we would like to talk about what you found. If that's okay with you. It's up to you, TJ. Will you help us? I just have to ask you some questions. <laughs> That Gentlemen, I will hit you. I haven't hit you yet, but I will hit you. I want to help. Your son's a real one. Watch yourself, bitch. Don't do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Sorry if I scared you. Let's apologize first. Go ahead, Be sweet to the boy, who I will not hear. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, DJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! It's so close. I'll comfort this young boy. Young boy shouldn't have to look at old lady body. Never mind. I wasn't. I know. I forgot I'm a wolf. Sorry. But, but she didn't have her head on. I thought, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. Cause, cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark part. Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? Do you know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. If someone saw you... You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. Yeah, man. This is the investigation, man. Come on, Toad. <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, Stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. Hmm. Did you see who it was? No. Hmm. <laughs> Did you hear anything else? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, alright. I'm leaving alone, boy boy. You're I'm good. Sorry. You're After good. I came up again. There was no one there. And I ran home. That's all. I promise. I wanna go home. Okay. You can go. Go home, man. I'm about to grill on a little boy. Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. Let's get you out. You did a good job, kid. Come on. You're my hero, man. We're going to do a spin-off called Frog Amongst Us, starring TJ. I'm putting a good word with the guy I know at this place. That went about as well as I expected. 
You want to go look at the body now? Yeah. You know what? In a minute. When you're ready. Let me look at him, Mara. Uh, we're gonna go to the mirror eventually. Cause Toe's acting stupid again. Toe stay lying, man. I feel like I need to just fold this dude one time. Hey, mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. Ah, <sighs> do so you need more bars? Uh, what were you showing Mr. Toad and his son? Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. Can I find Tweedle Dum? Uh, that piece of scum. That's hot bars right there. Yeah. Ain't that supposed to call a car? The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. That kind of worked. Well, that's helpful. He stayed. Getting sauced up. No use. Uh, let's go look at the. Let's go look at the book. Anything else in the book that I may be, maybe miss? I will get to the bottom of this. Beauty and Beast, always putting on a show for each other. Seems like not much has changed between me and Woody. Ain't nothing going on here. All right, so look at this body, man. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Boo. Why do I miss now? Are you ready to examine the body now? Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. Uh, okay. Okay, all right. This is the witching world everybody's afraid of. Yes, I can, bitch. I can walk anywhere because I'm the motherfucking big bad wolf. Okay. 
That's weird. I don't wear boots like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the Hollands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. The neck wound was the same. There might be a ribbon in her mouth, too. I doubt it. Anything? Nothing. Yeah. So, it's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? Sure, if you feel better about the seven here, have a close mouth. Uh, walking there again. She got your perfume. Right? How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this house. Also, I sell the bottle on your desk. Uh, something else I'm missing here? Some, oh, we got some more investigatory work down here. Yo, she getting stabbed in the leg? What the hell is going on down here? She used monkey drugs. What's that way? What do you have one too? I hear they only go for the legs if they used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Don't be ridiculous. Unless you, unless you drug it up. with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, it's... It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So is there some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Illegal glamour. Quote unquote illegal. Look at that. Buttons aren't exactly the... There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. Wonder. What? Uh. Snow, do you mind if I open it over? Big beat me. Just let me do it. I ain't about to get freaky with no corpse. I'm trying to get to the bottom of some stuff. Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. We cannot. We can't I don't think I want to tell Ichabod nothing, though. Preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. Yeah, I kind of don't want to tell this man nothing, though. I kind of just kind of want to. So she fought back? No marks of knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Maybe there's something in her hand. Like another clue. What are you doing? way to find out. I know you don't like this, but this is part of the investigation. We gotta do some stuff here. What is it? Uh, is there other arm in there? What is Who's that? This? She had the perfume with her. 
Looks like someone picked it out. So, so someone, someone gave her instructions. instructions. Definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have Hopefully it rips your head off. Sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I don't know. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. Gonna try to open it. We gonna do this. To do with these Fortune favors the bold. Uh, okay. We gotta line these joints up, yeah. So. Yeah, bring it down there. Let's do a little bit of that. Uh, take that one and do a little something like that. Bring that one around like that there. Like that there, boy. Take that with my old flip Ruski. Bring it on around town. Look at that there. Dear. Top notch. What does that mean? Witchcraft work that I know about. Probably a picture of you and probably some of your hair, I would assume. I'm not a witch, but I kind of know how voodoo works. Yeah. And this would be you. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last the picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Big Oh shit. She's at me. She's a troll? Oh wow. Uh Yeah? Alright, calm down. It's not like you haven't seen a troll before. Who is she? That wasn't there before. That was not there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Oh, wait! Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? She looks like Holly. The owner of the trick truck? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lulu. She was reported missing, but... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. Maybe they were kind of right then. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who will they see? Well, certainly another troll. Crane. Just don't say anything else. Just shut up. Just don't Why say anything. Else. It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Big, big, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. There's no one to come with me. I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. She might still have ice powers. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening here. I thought I would have punched somebody by now, but I've punched literally no one. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. Come on, I like how I just Holly. stepped up. I need Full cigarette. This'll do. You ain't got nothing smart to say, Grindel? Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. Not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White. 
I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh boy, here we go. Everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. What the hell? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. Oh, he said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Baby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now. Thank you. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He <sighs> fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Zach. I don't know which Jack, Jack you are. Nerve. What happened? Jack you up. What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Holly. What? Big, big look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Bren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? From my sister. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. Woman. We're just gonna let it go. Let's do it. You're walked in that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been. All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. I'm trying to be nice today. Trying to be nice today. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want to. It should have been you. It should have been you, you, and it wasn't. She mean that. She kind of. She kind of true. She kind of is telling you the truth. No offense, no like, but you kind of did. Didn't report that shit. Was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Honestly, we didn't talk about it. 
start guzzling, boy. I know I would. It seems so fucking petty now, but I just, I didn't want to watch her with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. More hooking. I'm telling you, man, this is a pimp's game right now. Something's happening. It's pimping this, Eventually, the tearing only this city apart. At her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb. It's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Tell me about the fees. Tell me about the fees, man. Money's money is important here. Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of employees designed to entrap people by keeping them in debt. We can probably learn more at the club. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. That's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taking care of her. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office and we'll see what we can do. Who? Bando. Bando. What's happening, Bando? I'll go down now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. I'm being nice today, man. I'm trying to not. Thanks. I'm gonna swell up on somebody down in this club, though. I'm up, up a cut Georgie right into oblivion. But right now I'm being cool. I was nice to a kid. I was nice to a, a bereaved troll. Uh, I was kind of nice to Crane. I'm being, I'm being good today. I'm being good today. Well, boy, when I get down to this club. Ooh. This it? Where is that? Yeah, I see the silhouette of a hooker. This is it right here. Skinny uh, skanks out back. I'm in the right place. Well, come over here pedaling that and wear. I don't want it. What a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome. Is it business or pleasure? Uh, I'm a friend of George's. Where is he? A friend? <laughs> let's, let's swap her up. You're in love. He's here. Come on. See him, let's move talk my way on in there. Let's go. Someone's gonna like that door about the leash. That, uh, Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Uh, my lips are sealed. You better ask to Is that like some spell? It's like I've been under spell. Now I gotta. Man, gotta get a blaster. Get a. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. 
you fucking, fucking dozy bitch. bitch. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never have to smile. All of the move though. Showgirl. Everybody, this is important investigation you. work I'm doing right now. You want them to forget about your show? There's no fucking narrow roof. You want them to get so worked up. These moves are awful. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. Yeah, you should keep going. For fuck's sake. You, you stay right, right there. there. Don't, Don't even think, think about, about sitting down. down. We're, We're not, not finished. finished. I got a few questions. questions. Imagine, Imagine my excitement. <sighs> what do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Not what this is. Knowing you, it's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stop in for the chips then. Jesus I'm going to get the punch this guy right so I love it. No, seriously. Take a deep breath. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. And shit happens. I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft kid. He was a troll. No, I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives it to us? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's proud. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. Strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around I'm a thug, okay. Try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Spitting in your own club. just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of meat. Who was she doing it for then? She had clients, Big Bit. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like, try looking in the mirror. What's the point, buddy? Now to do with me. I'm gonna karate chop that ghetto blaster in half. Go on, man. <laughs> That's the next move. You better not start that stupid jar rating. You're gonna win me. Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired? Boy, don't start with me. Oh, no, fuck. Yo, take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. Hey. Just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. But you get it. It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? 
way we got a team that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes, take my coat, end of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hawks, we need to work on your communication skills. And I have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey man, I'll be hitting hey, that dude. That's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Ah, oh, boy. I'll crush it, man. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't, Don't even think, think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell Trying me to get frustrated and hit stuff. Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? It's nothing to do with you. Being nice today. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, sir, but there's no handy magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe we'd get you off me back. What do we have here? Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor seat. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, really, come on. Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. I think it's the last time I'm going to be nice. This is the last time. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. You fucking get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Fuck it. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. See, sometimes you gotta just break. A, you gotta break some shit every once in a while. So every once in a while, you gotta break some shit. Bloody come on, man. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that will tell you anything. It's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Yeah, a bookie, you don't need a lot of stuff, man. I was pretty sure you knew that, though. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Big B. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, wow. Georgie. This is your book. Your girls. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I love the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Call who you want, bitch. Hello, you... business office. We went to this door that creaked open. I think that shit. I think that shit. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. 
I see the empty is here. We got some cosmetics on the floor. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Everything you need to attract a high quality patron. Glitter. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Hmm. Excuse me. I heard you out there. Okay. We got a uh, working girl in here. I didn't have a reason to come here before. This ain't how I get it in at all. <laughs> You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Oh, wow. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. Oh wow, it's that kind of situation. All right, cool. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Why nobody don't know nothing? <laughs> Why nobody don't know nothing? Does the number two zero seven mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? Can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. It's magic or some shit, right? They gotta keep, they have to say it. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Are you trying to? What I need to do. I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Oh. You know what's good? I took that money from fucking Tweedledum earlier. I got a wad of cash. Let's go. See? Always steal money from people. That's the left, that's the moral. Always steal money. Give me this book, though. Pocketing that shit. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. Hope you find what you're looking for. I like you, Narissa. Ariel of Disney's The Little Mermaid. And I only had to break one thing. Y'all proud of me? I did good. Well, let's pause. That's a cop right there. Anyway, it's a cop right there, but we gotta pause. Because I am Papa Billy Vader. I'm the Mock Knight Wolf. I'm the Prize Fighter Lobo. I am Bigsby Wolf, and I'm with the shit. And you're watching a show known as Morning Tuesday. It feels good to be able just to do that. I'm gonna 
solve these crimes, no one's losing their head. Legit, watch the stream like this. Cover your neck, protect your neck like Wu-Tang taught you to. No more heads being lost tonight. Damn it. Moist Tuesday. Oh, that's so smooth. Smooth like silk. Damn it. I'm with the shits today. No one's losing their head. All right? I'm with it. Tweedle dumb and Tweedle D gonna get Tweedle done up if they run up bars. All right? I don't play. Find out the hard way. More bars. Find out what this cop was doing. Oh, dang, I got a chick with a fro? Okay. Oh, there's couples in there getting in. All right. I ain't see nothing play. I ain't see nothing. Hands up, don't shoot. Mur oh, Officer Murphy, I see you. Man, I'm still kind of fighting this cold right now, guys. We doing it, doing it for the people. Wow, you're on camera. Okay, where do we start, guys? What do we do first? Let's fuck some shit up. All right. Soda machine, I don't think this helps me in any way. Like, you never know. It will kill you. It will kill you. We got stairs. Got a phone. Yeah, well, we had a phone. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is not the kind of hotel I bring anybody to do anything. I'm not doing anything in a hotel like this. Wanted by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, oh snap. You. I work here, okay? Really? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. So dirty place. I know I should have told somebody, but the beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he he just okay, couldn't handle it. Man. He knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Beauty, I could honestly not care less about this. Do what you want. All right, jeez. I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt, but I guess not. No, I care. I'm so just saying. What are you do doing here? <laughs> I didn't mean for him to say it meanly, oh, but you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the pudding and pie. Lily. She uh come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes, the the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Uh This I talked to Tweedle D earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate wow. I was, Big B. I had nowhere else to go. Look. If this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Really? 
That was kind of an asshole, huh? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. You know what kind of job I'm talking about. Nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Someone named Mr. Smith. <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. Ha, <laughs> Johnson. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamorous? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. All right. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, but they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. I'm gonna take it long as I need. Marvel might kick injustice out the window Listen, for me. Ma well, it's kind of already out the window for me. <laughs> Which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Nah, I'll keep you out of it, man. Don't, don't worry about it. Name. I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see you in court. It's just You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. And you'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. I got Which you, fam. 207. 4. Uh, oh, end of the hall. Let's go. I don't care about none of that other stuff. Uh, Let's listen, shall we? Use all of the senses. Now I think Marvel Infinite is going to be built, man. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Seeing these new characters move is uh is fun. Uh, do I go in? Make sure nobody's in there. Let's go in. Yes. You have keys to these rooms. I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Please. <sighs> Fine. I'm lying for you, man. Come on. Well, that's Be a real weird. one. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Bigby? How could you do this to me? No, no, wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love you. not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me with him? No, no, beast. Just say you work here. I hate these things. That's all. I'll back. Let me just pause real quick. I hate in any media when something like this happens and there's a misunderstanding that the person who can clear the misunderstanding doesn't just say the sentence that the misunderstanding is. When he comes in there, whoa, I work here. He's on the case. Whatever, whatever. All this, no, you don't understand. It's a misunderstanding. It's not what it looks like. All this, oh, why are you doing all that? He's walking closer to me with his beast fist to punch me. Just say what's happening. Just say it. You don't need to lead into it. It doesn't need to be any exposition just say the fucking <sighs> not to fight the beast because of this I'm bullshit sure you help each other just great i know what this place is i'm on a case she's a murder investigation she's helping me stop lying to me ah. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you she's my wife please listen to me there's nothing going on i'm not <laughs> I finally see you for who you are. Stop. You ain't seen it yet, homeboy. You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar. Listen to your wife. Just calm down. Beast. Ah! 
You don't want this trouble, dude. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. Relax. Relax. It's way worse for you than it does for me, man. I called the beast among us. Leave him be. <laughs> They'll grow back to your favorite. Right. I think it's how it works, right? Bigby, no! Don't hurt him! Oh, don't reach for the don't reach for the con guy gonna be oh okay, see. Seven's open. Oh, yo. Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. What you did to the door? You can't just act like this whenever Stand you... Stand back. You, you don't, don't want to see, see this. Wow. What the hell was going on here? Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> what did I just say? I said that to expressly keep you from seeing the bloody bit. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I. So that's. Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I, I don't know. I mean, loud noises are out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anyone screaming or anything. People fucking is loud and crazy. Shouldn't I have? It just seemed like I'm totally... Everybody's alive. making loud noises. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. Oh, gouge your eyes. I'm gonna re gouge me. your eyes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Help me with this. I'm being nice today. <laughs> ah, damn it. What kind of a person could do something like this? A really exactly strong person. I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. See what we got here. Let's look at the clues. We got some shit in the closet. There's a closet? What is this? Alright. Where to start? Where to start? Where to start? Let's start where we were. What is this? Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built in cassette player? I think so. Yes. Okay. Um, not not ordinary with that. We shouldn't even be in here. It do look like it's stinking here. I would imagine it smells like somebody was smashing in here, and then somebody got murdered in here. I imagine it smells like both of those things happened in that order. And witch magic, which probably funky as hell too. They have like a, a leg of newt and all kind of weird How shit. Do you know that? Blood pattern. So I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. Yeah. The body. Right. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. It's the body. Imagine. Man, y'all so sensitive. Yeah. It's a was a body here. I ain't got time for this stuff. No way. Being politically correct with you over here. <laughs> yeah. Booty sex, butt sex, and murder. All types of foul play. Do you smell something? No. Foul play. Okay. Apple. Ethan Miguel from Tekken was here. 
Oh, that's the apple from uh, Sleeping Beauty. One bite, put that ass out, right? I think that's how Bill Cosby did it. Put it in the apple. All right, storybook. What's going on here? What is it? It's a book about Snow White, or about the money version of her story, anyway. Okay. The whole book is about her. Yeah. Hmm. What is it? Uh. I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. No. Right. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. We got like fable role play going on? Makes sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple. Which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when uh, Yeah. We know. This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Mm -hmm. Oh no. What? What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. All right. This is just bizarre. This guy really has a thing about snow. It's like pathological. I'm getting that feeling. Yes. Crane did this shit, didn't he? Poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. All right, man. Um, I'm feeling like I'm putting some stuff together. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that. Hey, you lay off the huff and puff, all right? That's a real brand for real G's. All right. It's, it tastes smooth. It's flavor country. You don't know shit about this beauty. Get off my back. Okay. So can I put this? Can I put the cassette in the motherfucker? Beauty, shut up. <laughs> Isn't about you right now. All right, let me do what I'm doing. I mean, if you don't put this tape in the thing, how do you how do you activate activate tape, please? <laughs> Let's go. Hope this is DMX. Where my dogs at? Uh, uh, uh. It's not. It's not DMX. This is way different from the mix. Big Big This? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. It have covered up the sound of the murder. It's not that loud. I could, I think I would be able to hear a murder over that. Ouch, ouch, my guts. Oh, don't sever my head off. Like, I can, I'll be able to hear that. Like, I'd be able to hear that over this. Shit, it's genteel. <laughs> exactly, yeah, man. Now, if Ja Rule was playing, I wouldn't be able to hear no damn murder. What is this? What's going on in here? Let me in. Oh, he really dressed her up. Oh, wow. Dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. Yeah, it must have been torn some other time. Yeah, he got rough. He got rough to the joint off. What? What now? 
This is the same dress as the one in the book about the snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's yeah. another match to what's in the book. He still likes it rough. I didn't pick that option though. But he still likes it rough. Picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So um, you, you think I'm a trace detective? Get out of here, man. I need positive energy around the crime scene. When it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here anymore. Nobody asked you to stay in here. This super obvious evidence. What is this? Oh wow. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Uh. How do you know? I'm in this one. <laughs> it was taken last winter. Oh no, Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. Stand in for snow is gone now, so the next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> crane. Knew it. I fucking knew. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I should have punched him in the face. Should have punched his face off. I should have pushed off his face. Yeah, it's fucking you. I thanked him. I think them. I think that nerd. Oh, I'm as mad as I've ever been. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm trying to get my hands on the weasel. Pro homo. I'm, I'm trying to put my hands on him. Hot damn it anyways. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Yeah, man, he had his hand all in the trick. Hello, Mr. Big B. Hello, Mr. Big B. Hello, Mr. Big B. This man got the pump? Okay. Take care of it, Big B. Or I'll take care of it for you. <laughs> That's not some gay shit, don't sex thing. I'm gonna get my hands on the little weasel. Can I get my hands on the weasel without it being some gay shit? Man, no, please. Yo, look out, yo, you see me in my fully realized wolf form? Ultra beast rise from your grave. You see how I was looking? Boy, if I'd be on chapter three. Y'all ain't ready for this part of me. I ain't ready to unleash what is within the wolf amongst us. I told you I was with them shits. I was nice all night long. I was nice to everybody except for Beast because he started it. I was nice to everybody, man. You see what happens? I find out my fucking boss. The nasty Snow White file rubbing on trolls. Oh man, I just uh, I sympathize. I sympathize with him. Sixty-one percent of us did that shit. How am I supposed to feel about that? Got straight up swerved. All right, how did you treat the murder suspect? Me and 37.6 force to talk. Okay, so I mean, I'm a, I'm a part of the minority. I know how to get them to talk. I know how to get them lips loose. Pro homo yet again. <laughs> Did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? Yeah, man. She's a strong, independent woman who don't need no wolf. She don't need me. She can go where she fucking want to go. Um. Uh, How did you handle Georgie Porgy? All right, well, a lot of us didn't hit him. He has a very hittable face. I'm, I'm giving up for you guys who didn't hit this fucking piece of shit. But I really, I, I struggled with that part. I struggled like not hitting him, knocking off this fucking, uh, men in this hat. 
I wanted to knock that shit off of him. Uh, did you keep punching Beast when he was down? Nah, man. I understand that heartbreak, man. You think somebody got your girl and you want to start some bull mess. I get it. I get it. It was his, it was a it was a fight of passion. Is what it was. But I know you from injustice. Oh, oh, he knows you. Oh, y'all know each other. Y'all, y'all fought on um on injustice. Band doesn't like he knows somebody named Loose Booty. <laughs> See, she's like you know him. Uh, did you keep punching him? No, I didn't punch him. Okay. Uh, you know him. You know you know him. That's that Aquaman that was giving you. Remember you told me about that Aquaman that had was was beating the shot of you. Loose Booty. <laughs> oh man should I keep going usually I stop at two hours we got another 20 minutes I don't want to stop in the middle of a chapter though and I don't want to play another full chapter it's going to take another hour and a half I think I might just stop it short hmm that puts me in quite a conundrum I don't know how does this game work. If you if you're in the middle of a chapter and you stop, can you can you pick it up mid chapter? Anybody know? Ben, do you play this? How do um how do Telltale games work? What are my options? <laughs> this finna be a breeze. Is this King under his other account? Are you king? Are you undisputed king under a troll account? <laughs> Cause that's something. <laughs> Cause that's something that king uh, would say. Uh, hmm. Am I ready for more of this? I'm really mad at Ichabod Crane right now. I was. I wake up in the morning mad at Ichabod Crane. Like I roll out of bed and go, Ah, oh, man, it's a good morning, man. Fuck Ichabod Crane. What time I got to be at work? Like that's basically how I start every day since I started playing this game. But, uh, yeah, no, like, I'm sitting here, you know, empathizing with this piece of shit. I wish the Hitler's Horseman had fucking decapitated your ass. Let's go. We're going to do it. We're going a little bit further. we go a little bit further. I don't, I don't want to alter no decisions. I want to keep doing what I'm doing. If I'm wrong, I'll live with the consequences of being wrong. Because, at the end of the day... I'm a gigantic wolf. So how wrong am I really at the end of the day? I'm a big ass wolf. I'm a huge edit undo. <laughs> I ain't. I don't, I don't need any. I don't need any, uh, any of the other nonsense. You just do it. We go in. We go inward. Oh man. It's a bot cock sucking crane. It's a good thing I didn't leave Snow at the office with that old uh, pervert, that old prevert. Has a miserable trophy for the platinum. Oh, has a miserable trophy for the platinum. Oh, I, I, I never. Uh, I never care about trophies. As a matter of fact, when I see trophies pop up, I get kind of mad about it. I, I have my own sense of accomplishment. I don't need the game to go, you accomplished something. Good for you. You played. I know I played it, man. I know I played it. Uh, King is a... Uh, King is you. King is you, loose booty. I'm 100% sure that King, undisputed King, and loose booty are the same person. I'm a detective. I'm Big B Wolf. You think I wouldn't put it together? Loose booty, aka undisputed king. Of course I put it together. Who else would care about all that butt stuff? You talking about? How else would you care about platinum trophies? Another thing that King loves. King loves butt stuff. Platinum trophies. <laughs> what else does he love? He loves making fun of Bando. Don't, everything ties together here, man. I'll put the clues together, man. Big B Wolf. The Wolf Among Us. I am the Wolf Among All of Us. You can't get one over on me. 
No one gets one over on me. Look at how I walk in a circle. My eyes. Contemplating everything. Hot damn you. Alright, let's hit play. Chasing the car? I'm faster than a car. I'm a wolf. I'm a wolf. Let's go. Let's set it off. We got 20 more minutes. Let's discern more things. Let's glean more information. Our stories used to be so simple. Ah, I see his name and I want to punch his name. Everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I always right, lost right, your I'm, blood. I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. Good. He's trying to feel on your fucking parts. Her sister Lulu. She was okay. Scythe went home. I didn't know that was you. Eventually, the only I knew that was King. That's King, Vando. Scythe went home well, hours ago. Marissa, I've got some questions. Open the arms. Oh my god. Blood on the bed. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. That's so nasty. That's so nasty, dude. <laughs> That's a tall ass dude filling on a troll disguised as his co worker. That's just that's that's level that's level that's layers it's layers to that shit. I'll kill him. I'll rip him apart. Crane? Ugh, God, you think you know a person, Bigby? You have to tell her. I know. That's not how get it how you live. That's exactly What's not how you get it how you live. Where did you find him there? Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit. Crane's been no. Bigby, calm down. I'm mad. As mad as I've ever been. Going be okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me. Crane has been stalking Snow White. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can. God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham Bridge. Are you drinking? Wait, right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Don't big B me. Don't big B me. Wait. What? Snow's. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. She lived with seven thug ass dwarfs. Like, I mean, she had a. It was rough. I'm not saying it wasn't rough. But there's a dude out there trying to grab her by the pussy. There's a fucking guy trying to. Donald Trump her. And this shit is not right. He's old and fucking weird. And. I'm gonna rip them up. I'm gonna rip them up. I told you earlier that I was with the shits, and that statement has not been retracted. You crane somewhere with that actual flying monkey spanking it because he's nasty and you can't trust him, and he's fucking the grossest man. Where is he? Is he in here? In the portal toilet. You were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. Don't stick your head at me. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that the pain of losing Lily will. I respect the funeral. I respect, I respect the troll funeral. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But after that, we gotta get out of here. Memory we can rip the guts out of Ichabod Crane. And it will, in time, 
time, equal in strength to our morning for months. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories now you will never die from the difference. Stubborn, tedious life. Rash, oh, sweetheart. Thanks for she everything. carried a torch for the old Vivian. ways, for tradition, for pageantry. And most of all, it seems how... I'll miss worrying about you. I'll miss our her fights. I'll miss you. She loved being oh. rain, in good times and bad. I never met her, but from... I'm not going to drink the liquor. I know in my heart. Just going to look at the liquor. She would have liked to be here tonight. Let's see what kind of taste they got. Moment of silence. Thank you. You were a big, bright, shining star in this shithole of a town. And I miss you already. Ran. Big uh, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. After you lie and say you'll check first. What? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big Bear. Hey, but I don't know about that no damn wishing her well. I'm telling you the I'm truth. I'm a dick, but I'm not a, like a big dick. But this not a double dick. wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. I tore and Grim's I'm arm sure off. Fuck Grim. Grim was being on some pain. bullshit that day. I did this tear Grim's arm off. I did that. Why I did it with glee. Anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly, this is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must feel. No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother me. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer on. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I'm just... It's your turn to talk. <laughs> Can I save my homegirl from the pervert? Can I do that? <laughs> Can I do my thing? Can I live? This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough. The crane was dressing up a troll like you and fucking her, and he killed her. Resets the clock. Crane murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there. He's been taking <laughs> prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily. And making her look like you while he was, you know. The yeah. bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is, I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. Say God damn, because that's what I said. Everything I can right now to not picture him, to not picture him. You should go. You're sure this is what happened? This is I like 99.99999% sure. Be, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. Crane has been taking photos. Lots of photos. Photos that show him. He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I'm not going to show you the photos. Because I don't want you to bark. And this isn't the place. No, no. Marissa, mm -hmm. what is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they stirring the burn? Yes. We ain't got time to burn no trolls. Really be no offense to any trolls that are watching. Kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be 
No, I understand. No, I get it. Two minutes, man. It won't take if he jump over one of these motherfucking things and grabs you, swings out on the rope. Understand that I tried to get you out of here. At the motel, did you find anything? I found too much. I found way too much. No. I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa. Yeah. Um, coming. Trying to keep y'all out the out the loop so nobody comes ki trying to kill y'all. Oh my god. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you jerk-offs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. Oh, you too big, Sex. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after crime. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Just take a little vacation, it's all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just uh, pay I'm just trying to buy some time. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours. Brother, speak your mind fastly now. What's it gonna be? I ain't gonna say that. What you gonna do with the shotgun now? At a funeral. To do things the Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please rest easy. This is not what the hell is going on. What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are, nice and natural, like we're just out having a spring picnic. They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. right, telling everyone our dealings. Yeah. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers can come here and fight him? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. Yeah, listen to your lady love. Things that don't have to turn sloppy uh. now. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. Let's just everybody relax. Okay. Wow. Never mind, Lily. Get him. Oh no. I got it down. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Wow, did I just get everybody shot? <laughs> Aced it, guys. Everybody got their ass blasted. Yeah. Okay. So we're off to a good start for this chapter, guys. Um, if the funeral went well, <laughs> I think uh, Lily has been properly uh, remembered by uh, family, friends, and peers. I think it's time to end the stream. I think it's time to end the stream.
Yeah. That's how we're that's how we're that's how we're gonna end it, guys. Uh to my credit, no one else was decapitated. And that was the promise that I made to all of you. If you're still with me here, um your head's still on. And that's cut off to you. Uh fuck Crane. And, and everybody who's associated with him. We're going to get him. We're going to get him, guys. And if somebody glamoured up and looked like Crane at the end, then it's Crane's fault for letting him get his hair and a picture of him for the glamour anyway. So still fuck Crane. Fuck you, Crane. Um, so yeah, we'll do this again next week. Same time. Uh, keep your heads on. Made it through the flu game, guys. I'm sick. And I made it. So, me and MJ go down to history. Putting up buckets in the flu game. We did it. I am Paco Veli Vega. I'm the Maka Knight Wolf. The Wolf Among Us. The Prize Fighter Lobo. Also Among Us. And you've been watching Moist Tuesday. <laughs>